to uh, say how honored I am to be a part of Had the open up for him, and we all know the monster. <laughs> Humble. for me to open up for Paul's a big honor as well. Yes, it's very nice to see everybody. I spent most of my summer in Bjorn, Bjorn Bay, where I'm from. And uh, kind of forgot all about COVID up there. <laughs> it's like a main shed on the, hu on, the, on the road going up there and there's a lot of people congregate there, mostly families in the same bubble and it's like going back in time, old Newfoundland, cooking lobsters every night, and whatever else they can cook out of the sea. Anyways, I'm going to sing this first song. I'll come back home because uh, there's a cabin being built uh, in the works now for Bjorn Bay. And I'll be coming back home there before I long. with Paul for a very long time, brother and sisterhood. I was just tapping into the native roots where I felt I belonged, and uh, I had a few native songs I, I wrote, aboriginal songs, the experiences I felt, and a couple of stories. This is the first one called Touching the Sun. It's kind of my first experience of, wow, it's, everything's starting to make sense now, you know? That spiritual connection. You must have filled my heart as I reached for the feather. The links that have been missing are now at once together. The cries of my ancestors I didn't hear But now they echo in my soul Through all the long lost years And our prayers are getting answered With every new beating drum And our nation We're standing one by one And I know my 
grandfather can feel my warmth as I'm touching the sun. When I heard the drum, my soul began to soar. And with the beat, my spirit danced like it never danced before. So now I walk the red road. I'm not afraid to be alone. Because with your voice and my voice and their voice, they'll all be coming home. And I pray. Touching the sun, and I know my grandfather can feel my warmth as I'm touching the sun. And that's what it was like. This next song, this next song I'm going to do is uh, one that's been pretty popular. Put it on the Cancer Benefit album in uh, St. Albans many years ago, and he played it in Fort Mac on the radio a lot. Uh, it's about a woman in Con River who uh, had a lot of loss, and most people know who Mardini Joe is. She's very special to me and special to a lot of people. And um, she lost when she when I wrote this song for her it was the day I had to leave and go play somewhere, and it was the day of her son's her, her last and final son she lost uh, to cancer and um, just a little while ago she lost her third husband and uh, but it, it, it's hard to even wrap your head around the loss that's been in the tragedy in Con River I mean for years and I mean Chantel last year and now we just lost Zach Drew so I don't know if anyone from Con River or Zach's family Celine is watching but uh, my heart goes out to you and and look to Mardina Joe for some for inspiration of how strong the heart can be. Anyway, this song is called Mardina. There is a woman that I know She's had a share of heartaches as she's watched her children grow Some have been taken and Some remains And no one but her Will ever know her pain Martina Stronger than the wind that wakes the rest of us at night. Martina, Martina, you fly like the eagles in the sky. Hands have been dead. Some good, some bad She's never complained Of the struggles that she's had A will so strong It will not break And her faith in Creator Will not forsake Martina, Martina, you're stronger than the wind that wakes the rest of us at night. Martina, Martina, you fly like 
like the eagles in the sky. There is a glow in her eyes, courage I've only heard of well before my time. And when her day comes to leave this place, well, I'll say I sure was blessed to know that poor, that brave woman's face, Martina, Martina, you're stronger than the wind that wakes the rest of us at night, Martina, Martina. Like the eagles in the sky. Thank you. Someone will have to give me the go-ahead when it's 8.30. We'll see. I got, uh, I got a request to do a song. I'll save him for the last one. I always like doing this song. Uh, it's kind of when I got that little bit of anger that everybody gets when it's like, God, what did they do to our ancestors? And my grandmother was forced to deny who she was and anyways I'm this was my take on it all and uh, I'm over the anger now I'm embracing all the positive energy that our ancestors are still here it's called uh, covered faces when we didn't know what greed and power money was they called us savages whole nation paralyzed well they claim to be civilized and a way of life here vanishes One more person cares. Can anybody hear these words out there? I'm not saying who's to blame for denial brought by shame. Without prayers If one more person Cares Do or die Tell a lie for who you are Well it's not me but my ancestors Who bear that scar My soul inside embraces The years of covered faces But their mighty spirits Have carried me this far One more person cares. Can anybody hear these words out there? I'm not saying who's to blame for denial brought by shame. 
we can build that bridge with our prayers. If one more person Thank you. I'm going to sing this old country song I wrote. I spent a lot of time with my nan this summer, and uh, she's the one I got all this inspiration for. My old guitar, most people in Newfoundland got a guitar in their house and someone who plays. Anyway, this is called My Old Guitar. You've seen me grow through the years, through, isn't that something? You've seen me grow through the years, through hardships and through tears. When I lost, and when I won, when there was love, and then no one, it warmed my heart when it was cold. Oh, the stories to you I told, my old guitar, my old guitar. With you I've gone so many miles, brought tears and smiles i sang with you the sweetest songs we welcomed friends till they were gone the memories you've given me are countless and so sweet my old guitar my old guitar you're always there for me to hold You're a part of my soul, my old guitar, my old guitar. Well, I've seen you first with my dad, some famous people, and my nan. She played the old ones with you, and it wasn't long before I knew. Kitty, Patsy, and old Hank are just a few I'd like to thank. My old guitar, my old guitar, my old guitar, my old guitar. Beautiful, beautiful brown eyes. May you never be alone like me. How far is heaven? Sweet dreams, honky tonk angels, my old guitar. This one, uh, this one is the, uh, try to make it a positive note, but uh, when everybody
everybody got those letters in the mail there a couple of years ago. There was a lot of frustrations. And uh, when my son came to me and said, I'm not Indian anymore because they said that in the letter. And anyway, everybody was real sad. And I said, you know what? I, really, I got to write a song about this. And it don't really matter what, what a letter says. You know, you know who you are. So that's what this song is about. Thank you, folks. Thank you so much. Welcome the magnificent Paul Pike. I'm looking forward to this show myself.
Thank you so much. Appreciate that. <clears throat> um, continuing on with the theme, as you can see, our backdrop is uh, we've got our ancestors that are with us here today. This, uh, this bay that we're in is called El Mastuquic, um, known today, of course, as the Bay, um, the bay of Violence, and then more specifically, the, the town or the city of Cornerbrook. So really great to be here. It's where I was born. And, uh, but we all have a story. A lot of my family come from out in the Bay St. George area. In our language, we say Nu Geohonik. And uh, so we all got a connection. We didn't sit, I guess, in little, one little communities. Uh, we moved around all over the place. So <clears throat> with that, I just want to say everybody here has a piece of our story. Everybody, nobody knows it all. Nobody has it all. But all of us has, each individual family has a little gift to share with each other. So with that, with these songs that we're going to share tonight, I hope that we can transform you. And um, kind of like music is the closest thing we come to time travel, right? <laughs> it really is. It can take us back to memories and things that are most important. Um, so with that, just going to start off with that flavor and uh, hope that you enjoy the show. want to uh, shout out to my cousin Brian McHugh. You guys uh, seen Brian play, and Brian has, has backed us up many times playing music. Incredible musician, and I'm really grateful that he's here to share. Um, yes. <laughs> so anyway, with that, um, let's start it off.
Willario. Thank you. The next song is from uh, our first Medicine Dream recording. It's a group that I performed with in Alaska uh, called Medicine Dream. The song is called Jalazi, which you might see on some of the highway signage. You'll see this word of Jalazi. And what that, uh, we use it for the word for welcome, but what it actually means, because you know our language is so much more deeper than just on the surface. It actually means come and take your place in our circle. So with that, Jalazi. feel like dancing, huh? Yeah, get the life plug. I want to tell you a little bit about the flute. Um, Native American flutes are, are very popular and stuff, and for a long time, a lot of people didn't realize that uh, in Mi'kmaq culture, we, we actually had a flute tradition, and there are old stories about uh, Mi'kmaq and Mi'kmaq was kind of, uh, there are different families that have different stories, but they call them kind of the spirit of the forest, and and uh, he would play these beautiful songs, and you would, he could, so beautiful it would lure you into the woods. You could even get lost looking for where the source of this beautiful.
beautiful music's coming from. And you'd come around the tree, and just when you think you're going to find Megamawisu, he'd shapeshift. He'd turn into a fox or a squirrel or a bird. You know, you know, he, there's a lot of stories like that about the Megamawisu. So we do know that we have a food tradition. Hope that you enjoyed that. I'm going to get my guitar on. There's a place not far from here, um, Margaret Bowater Park, actually. If you go up the stream, a lot of you have been up there. And if there's places up there, you could get on a rock and sing your heart out. Nobody can hear you and nobody cares. <laughs> As a young person uh, growing up here, I used to do that. Uh, and I uh, always felt close to the land, so it's always good to get out in this world. I've been blessed and I'm grateful for the circle of people who've come my way. I won't forget all their goodness that kept me afloat when I felt like drowning. I thank all my elders who taught me to pray for all my relations at home and away. You gave me the stream, show me what's real, and I've taken this challenge. Just got to learn how to feel in this world. Grow it up in my homeland. I have this place. I used to go to Through the forest Up the stream I sit on this rock And I learn to dream I dream about singing I dream that I travel To far away places And make lots of friends When I moved to Alaska You showed me the dream When it's time to go home I would thank for for all seen in this beautiful world Ooh, in this world well it all but Born a child of this island, I cannot throw this dream away. Make my people, here we stand. We'll never forget, we'll never pretend. We come from this island they call Newfoundland. Indigenous people, our hearts of the land. We cry out for justice, praying for peace for all those who wronged us. Pray that you'll cure your disease. Greed, hate discrimination So we Smallwood was wrong He was so wrong We've been here wrong and long In this world Oh yeah in this world Thank you
Yeah, Joey Smallwood, he, uh, I guess he just didn't realize there was a lot of, a lot of indigenous people right here in Newfoundland and Labrador. I'm going to sing a song. It's probably the most country song that I've ever composed. A song called Lady Slipper Road. I know many of you have probably been there. Grew up with my dad going up there and uh, fishing, hunting, berry picking, and all the adventures. And whether we got a fish or not, it didn't matter. It was just getting out there with dad and driving and all the conversation and uh, all the memories, right? And uh, my dad is awesome. Uh, really grateful for him. This is dedicated to Ron Pike. I get to live in this place To breathe the air To feel the sun on my face Sweet memories as a child Seems like yesterday It wasn't that long ago the dad and I would drive for hours on those old logging roads. Ooh, seems like this place was meant to be. Laid a slippery road. Ooh, feels like it's only you and me. And laid a slippery road. Time seemed so simple back then I wish that it could last And the days felt so long You could smell the trout in the stream It's clean and so pristine Just like a dream It wasn't that long ago the dad and I would drive for hours on the so long and roads. Ooh, it seems like this place was meant to be a latest slipper road. Ooh, feels like it's only you and me a latest slipper road. It wasn't that long ago The dad and I would drive for hours On those old logging roads Said, ooh, seems like this place was meant to be Laid a slippery road Ooh, it feels like it's only you and me Laid a slippery road Time seemed so simple back then I wish that it could last Thank you. So I talked a little bit about the... Uh, the flute tradition and Nigma culture, but uh, as we know, indigenous flutes are around the world, different cultures. I actually came down to uh, St. John's one time, the Bannermick Park Festival, and they had an international flute symposium. I thought this is going to be awesome. You know, I'm picturing there's a lot of flute traditions out there from South America, you know, Bolivia, and all these different different places, even Japan, and. and um, 
got down there and there were six, I think it was around six flute players and five of them were Celtic flute players. <laughs> I was the only non-Celtic flute player. But uh, that told me, you know, that um, uh, we have a lot of diversity in this world in music and we all deserve to share that stuff. So being able to share this music and this culture is really important. It's more than just uh, education. It's a part of our being and our, I guess, feeling included in, in our communities, right? Everyone feeling a part of. So when I first got introduced to Native American flutes, um, there was a man named Bill Miller was the, the first musician. He's, he's from the Mohican Nation. And uh, he swears to God that he's not the last of the Mohicans, but uh, apparently there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of Mohican people still, luckily. Um, but anyway, uh, he was the first time I'd heard Native American flute. And then, of course, uh, uh, Carlos Arnakai and um, uh, Douglas Spotted Eagle. So these are some of the people that I heard that really inspired me and uh, wanted to break up this flute. Uh, most Native American flutes today are actually made by non-indigenous people. It's very hard to get. Uh, there's only a few actual Native uh, indigenous flute makers that are around today that, uh, at least that I've been um, fortunate enough to, to get their flutes. But this particular flute was made by uh, Brian Towers from the Cuyahoga Nation. And uh, I'll let you hear what this sounds like. It's a beautiful flute. Uh, some people, I was talking to someone earlier, talking about how flutes are often used for meditation. You can see why. This next song was uh, composed uh, in honor of my, my grandmother. Uh, this is the flute song Medicine Dream, which is where we got the group name. So I hope that you enjoy this. Going out to Rebecca Newhook Gabriel. The Q is a married name, so I have a lot of, uh, a lot of relatives here in the Corner Brick area.
So back in, uh, I guess it must have been, uh, I'd say around 2000, a little after 2000, I uh, was outside of the uh, Glimmelin down there, and uh, it, was, it was January. It happened to be a full moon. I didn't have a drum, but I was sitting there, and I was, usually I got used to the families around holidays and stuff. We'd all get together with the drum and sing, and, and here I felt I was really missing that cultural connection and being in the city and all. And for some reason, there was a hole in the ice out there, and here was those beautiful swans right there at night, too. I was kind of surprised. Usually they're in that, that little uh, hut they got back there, but. They were there just for me, I'm convinced, that night, because they just brought out all the emotion to me, and I composed this song, and I, uh, I'll sing it in uh, vocables and in the Mi'kmaq language and uh, English translation, so... So I spent, uh, I spent a long time away, 25 years I lived in Alaska, uh, though I called home every, every other day, talked to my mom, my dad, you know, I was a good son, came home every summer and, uh, to be with the people and, um, you know, uh, for a long time, uh, we didn't have cultural events that were happening here, I have to go all the way to Con River and uh, we'd dance and share and the people were really wonderful and they shared with me. And, but then I guess it was probably around the mid to late 90s and we had our first Maui Omis here in front of a Halibu First Nation, what is now the Halibu First Nation Band Office. Back then it was known as the Majestic Lawn, right? And uh, 
it was awesome. Angela Brown was there, and uh, we had all kinds of community members that helped out um, to, to do things. So it was, a, it was what we call a Maui Omi, um, which wasn't, it was a little bit of elements of powwow. We had storytelling. We had a concert in the evening. Of course, we had some awesome moose soup, you know, because we love our food. And uh, anyway, it was a great time. We had it for a couple of years, and um, it's just really good experience. But we've seen a lot of families coming out. And uh, our goal at that time was we wanted to honor the different families. Because you've got to remember, for a long, long time, uh, people were very invisible here, especially in the Cornerbrook area. And uh, it was when you talked about culture, it was, uh, it was kind of talked quietly at Tim Hortons or coffee or in a corner somewhere or in someone's basement, or out on the country when you're out fishing or hunting, people might have those conversations, but there was still a climate of, is this okay to talk about this kind of thing? And uh, so now we're in a generation where we have our younger uh, people, uh, my children, probably your children, that are learning our language and learning our songs, and most importantly, learning our values and bringing that back, and um, uh, that, that value of respect and generosity and um, you know the courage to be able to do that because the world is not always kind to us right <laughs> as we know so I, I miss Tom even though I was back here all the ever every chance I got uh, but there's something about this island that pulls us back here I, I guess I called it an indigenous connection but I'm sure that non-indigenous people also have that same pull to this place but uh, this song's called Red Ochre Sands It's hard to accept the distance from you. Unconditional love, it gets me through. Something calls me home time and time again. An indigenous feeling that comes from within. This red sands It calls through my hands I hold in my hands Happiness that comes from inside And my heart's wide open Something calls me home Time and time again An indigenous feeling That comes from within this red ochre sands a hole in my hands a hole in my hands I'm trying to connect I know I, I need to There's no way I'd ever release you Oh, something calls me home Time and time again An indigenous feeling That comes from this red ochre sands I hold in my hands I hold in my hands
get me to the mandate. Don't tell me I'm looking. I'm not going to be Thank you. Um, a very special person I'm going to invite you tonight, Angela Brown, if you would want to join me on this song. Back in the 90s, Angela came to Anchorage, Alaska and came up for a visit and um, composed this song up there. And her, her voice, as you can tell, is just amazing. It just fit the song perfect. And we composed a song called Invitation to Breathe. And it's on the first... Um, Medicine Dreams recording. He composed the song. I just sang a little. She put the magic. She put oh. the magic. Some people were born into the good life. Some were torn apart by greed. I guess we're thrown into the battle just to see how we will bleed. A baby's born, you can hear her cries. A culture's torn because a language dies. Broke it into pieces, the heart of the world. But a spirit keeps soaring on A spirit keeps soaring on Sometimes I cry Cause I don't have enough I don't know why But life can be so tough I've got an open invitation to Start dreaming. Please don't throw away no your conscience. Away. It's time to look outside your door. There's people who love you. Ooh, they won't give up on you. No, we won't give up on you. Oh. Sometimes I cry because I don't have enough. I don't know why, but life can be so tough. I've got an open to breathe if I start dreaming Sometimes I cry because I don't have enough. I don't know why, but life can be so tough. I've got an open invitation to breathe if, if I start dreaming. Oh, oh, oh. If I start dreaming.
We're going to keep her up here now. <laughs> this is a song that uh, our chief, uh, I know he likes this one, Chief Brendan Mitchell. And this was composed by George Paul. And uh, George Paul is, uh, is an elder from uh, Metabanagia First Nation, which is up in Red Bank, New Brunswick. And uh, he spent a lot of time down here, especially in the 80s, sharing a lot of culture and teachings. And anyway, this song was very popular. It's still sung today. And I, I made a, a guitar version of it. So we'll see if we can sing it. If you guys know it, you can sing along too. enjoying yourself oh, yeah. yep. for, our, for our viewers that are listening we thank you so much for tuning in here there's a lot of great things happening here at the Rotary Arts Center in Cornelbrook 
was thinking, you know, some of us have a lot of old. I talked about how every family has a little piece of our puzzle culturally, you know. And uh, for some of you, there might be an old place that you've grown up going to that you know that your family has spent a lot of time going there. And uh, this song is all about that. You can imagine going back to a place that maybe your family lived there for three, four hundred years and that you've been using that area, whether, whether it's to, to harvest from the land or, or camping. And, uh, and I can just imagine um, how life must have been back then. So let's, let's take us on a, a musical time time jump here. We'll go back in time. It's called The Trail. Take a trip to the mountains To find the trail that takes me home To smell the dew in early morning Wakes the memories of my soul So many years ago Since we walked upon this place And I could see the sunlight It points proud upon my face They follow old familiar trails Makes a think about my people How a love can never fail A love can never fail Since we walked upon this place And I could see the sunlight It brings pride upon my face It puts pride upon my face Ooh. Thank you. Great improv, Angela. Also, <laughs> great stuff. I'd like to also invite to the stage now my partner Michelle Bennett, going to come up and join with some, do some hand drum stuff. I got this theory. I, I, you know, you guys like blues music. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to play something on the bluesy side. But I seem to be convinced that blues has some kind of roots connected to Cree round dance music, and you're going to hear what I'm talking about. I wonder if I can get you ladies to do uh, a round dance beat, kind of something like that.
It wasn't long ago Some people all around Nobody locked the doors There were no drugs around We looked out for each other We helped each other out Growing up on this island We knew what love's about We had respect in place And our children could safely play And our elders could finally say We protected the women We never lost faith that the sun would shine again Yeah, you feel it? In 1949, a people were denied. A place in Canada, Joey Small would have lied. And once again today, like in times of the past, a people were divided, broken down and harassed. We were forgotten people. Stephen Harper had come to town. We thought justice had come around. But we never gave up. We never lost faith that the sun would shine again. Yeah. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. We will. We got a lot of hope. There's going to be a lot of good things happening. I know that uh, that people's hearts and minds and actions are in the right place. Sometimes things take quite a while. I think back, like I said earlier, I remember in the 80s and early 90s, there was barely anyone talking about culture at that time. And, and now we have, uh, you know, we're working on education in the schools. I could drive by the highway. I can see our language on a billboard. I mean, there's some great things that are happening. And right here for the community of Cornerbrook, you know, uh, we have a community of Crow Gulch that a lot of people grew up learning about. And uh, our families are going to be uh, acknowledged here as well, um, their place in the community. And so I'm really, really proud of the people that, uh, that's my people too. My family comes from there, and I'm very proud of them. Um, with that, I want to say a big thank you to Michelle Bennett and Angela Brown back here. And I'll give them a hand. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna, I'm going to ask them to stay on board doing the hand rounds. I'm, I'm feeling the groove. It's good. I hope you're feeling good out there, too, in uh, the Internet land. I hope you've enjoyed the show. I'd like to thank our uh, sound technician, Brad, who's doing an awesome job back there. Thank you, Brad, very much. And for everyone... 
at the Rotary Arts Center for trying to keep uh, music alive and to be able to come in a place like this and compose and share indigenous music is very important to us. We thank you so much. And with that, we're going to sing. We're going to end the song with a medicine dream song called "We Belong," and uh, and we do. We all belong here. So hope that you've enjoyed the show, and we thank you. We say we love you all. Choose to live the way our ancestors had lived. We choose to pray the way our ancestors have prayed. And with these prayers, we pray for peace and understanding that we may be free to be ourselves to home. I'm living so far away from my homeland, trying to do the best that I can do, doing what I can. My fears are perfect, I have my ups and downs. everyone for sharing with us and we hope that you enjoyed your night. All right, we'll, we'll do one. We'll do another one. I have to remember. This song actually was composed by uh, Michelle Bennett. Michelle is also from uh, from Cornerbrook, from uh, Monster Quick here. Her father was a very well well known musician, Mike Bennett. You might might know his name. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> 
got 50,000 leads in my head. Here we go. We never heard before, so they'll never know. Wait, <laughs> We'll see you again. No more to stop. <laughs>